Hi, welcome to an episode of Cooking with Krigo. Are you looking for some snack ideas to make for the big game? Well, here's my wife, Kristen, and she's going to show us how to make buffalo chicken dip. So these are the ingredients we're going to use to make the buffalo chicken dip. As always, we will put the exact measurements in the description below. But we are going to use cooked chicken, softened cream cheese, blue cheese crumbles, hot sauce, ranch dressing, and a little bit of parsley on top just to give it some color. So this is super easy to make. Um, all you're gonna do is you're going to put all your ingredients into one bowl and you're gonna mix it together. So we are going to put our chicken So you can use any type of chicken that you want. If you want to um, get a rotisserie chicken and pull it apart, you can use the canned chicken. You can use chicken breast. You can cook it up yourself and then shred it. Whatever um, kind of type of chicken that you want to use is fine for this recipe. Um, we're going to put in our softened cream cheese. We're going to put in our hot sauce. We're going to put in the ranch dressing. And we are going to put in our blue cheese crumbles. And again, um, if you are not such a big blue cheese fan, you can use any type of cheese that you like. You can use cheddar cheese or really any type of cheese that you like. Um, it does not have to be blue cheese. So, but for this recipe, I'm just using the blue cheese crumbles. So you're gonna take all that and you're gonna mix it together really nice. And just try to mix it up until the cream cheese is pretty smooth and the rest of the ingredients are all mixed together. And then when it's all mixed up, it should look like this and everything should be all mixed up and all together. Okay, so everything is mixed. So our next step is we are going to put our dip into a shallow baking pan. Again, it can be any type of pan that you have, just as long as it's shallow, just not too deep so that it cooks heats up all the way through so we are going to take this and put this into our pan okay then once it's in there you're just gonna spread it out as evenly as you can in the pan. Okay, and that looks pretty good. And now this is ready for you to pop it in the oven. Okay, now we are ready to put our dip in the oven. We preheated our oven to 350 degrees. So we are gonna take our dip. We're gonna put it into the oven, just like that. And you are going to let that cook for about 20 minutes or until it's heated through. Okay, our buffalo chicken dip has been in the oven for 20 minutes, so it is done. It's nice and hot, and then we are just going to take some parsley and just give it a little bit of a sprinkle 
just to give it just a little bit of color. And again, you can use whatever floats your boat. If you want to use parsley, parsley's good. Um, you can also throw some green onions, whatever you want to put on the top of there because no matter what you put on, it's still going to be delicious. Let's taste it, shall we? Mmm. Mm. That's good. Good. Okay, so that concludes another episode of Cooking with Krigo. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification button so you can tell when the next video is coming up. Thank you for watching.